everyone welcome back to my channel for another video this one's super exciting i've kept this pretty much top secret for the past couple months now and i'm really excited to finally be able to tell you guys what is going on and what the exciting news is first one is we are getting a new kitten very excited he is an exotic short hair we're adding another male into the cattery for um, breeding. He, I purchased him with breeding rights and his parents are fully health tested. He comes from a pretty well-known breeder out in Venezuela. So that's the first news. And the second news is we're also getting another puppy. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> it's really crazy. We're getting um, a new kitten and a new puppy on the same day at the same time. This wasn't planned. It wasn't meant to be like this, but uh, it's kind of a long story, but we'll talk about it and then I'll let you guys know more of the details of uh, what puppy we're getting, what kitten. It'll be really fun. So keep on watching if you want to find out. Well, a little bit more backstory on the kitty. We'll go with the kitty first. He doesn't have a name yet. He is an exotic short hair. He is, I don't have his birthday in front of me, but I have to look it up. I'll insert it somewhere. But um, he is still a kitten. We are looking to expand our breeding program. As you guys may know, I do own a Tika and CFA certified short hair cattery. Wow, that's a mouthful. Getting to know a bunch of new breeders and everything, we finally did enough research to find a perfect male kitty that I think would go perfectly for our cattery. And we went through a breeder out in Venezuela. So he had to get shipped from Venezuela. There is a new rule now that we're not allowed to import certain, I guess, uh, animals from other uh, countries anymore because uh, there's been a, like a rabies outbreak pretty crazy stuff so lax is very strict so the kitty got shipped from venezuela to florida where he met with our pet nanny i do have a pet nanny she's amazing her name's ashley actually met the new kitty at an airport in florida picked him up has been taking care of him for the past week because here's the other big news we are getting a french bulldog puppy i'm just trying to be really quiet i don't want anyone to hear me the name for this is my boyfriend and I have always wanted a smaller dog. Uh, we do have Wolf, but as I was saying, we have Wolf. So Wolf is my dog. The two Dobies, Draco and Katana, they are more attached to me than they are him. They love him, of course, obviously, but they, like, we just have, like, a very strong bond, me and the Dobermans and Wolf. So I guess you can say those three dogs are pretty much my dogs, and he doesn't really, like, have his own dog per se and he gets pretty jealous of our relationship i feel like and he's been bothering me for a french bulldog for quite some time now he's had two english bulldogs in the past like i said they're still we're still like one big family but he just feels like he doesn't have his own like dog per se and so i mean the cats we have roommates here the cats are like for everyone i guess they roam they free range we're a cageless cattery here so they have free range of the whole entire house so all the roommates get to play with the kittens and what are all the cats and stuff but i guess dog wise my boyfriend just has always wanted his own dog why they're both coming at the same time so since there was that new law that didn't allow animals from coming from other countries to LAX. Um, our pet nanny has been taking care of the kitten for us until the puppy was ready to go home too since the puppy is in Kentucky. She actually drove from Florida to Kentucky with the kitten and then she's going out of the airport from Kentucky to LAX. So she just waited a little longer until the puppy was available to go home. So we are very excited. We do not have a name for the kitty yet. It's gonna be a very, very long couple months for me since I'm taking care of a new kitten and a puppy plus all the animals at one time. But it's not a problem, I'm very prepared. And it is summer break for me right now, which is nice. So I do have all the time in the world to spend time at home with both of them and get the puppies in training as well. Pet Nanny is gonna be landing at around 6.45, but then we're gonna meet her at the hotel. So I will be vlogging our whole experience. will come with me to the pet store with my boyfriend and yeah, so it's a very big day. Right. We're now at Petco. We're gonna get stuff for the new puppy. I'm in pain. He's in pain, so he doesn't feel very good, but it's also hot as hell. And yeah, let's look at some stuff. Are you okay? <coughs> <coughs> oh God, I think he fractured something. Yeah, maybe I fractured something, but let me tell you guys, all you kids out there, all right, greatness. Greatness doesn't wait for pain and, and crybabies, right? <laughs> push through the world's too soft nowadays let me actually oh, well, we're probably gonna go with extra small or small? small probably small huh yeah you're right he is chonky that one 
English. Kind of food? Hey guys, I am on the way. I took Draco with me. <laughs> um, we are on the way to go to Pet Supply. It is like this little boutique um, pet store in our little neighborhood. So I'm gonna go and get some dog food there or some puppy food just because I'm not super impressed with the selections over at PetSmart or Petco. That's just me though. I'm, we're pretty bougie when it comes to like their food and stuff like that. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of like the foods that they sell there, but that's just me. So we're going to go to Pet Supply right now just to pick up some food. We really like after looking at everything, I wrote out a list of things that we like needed and it wasn't really much just because we already have pretty much everything. We get a couple like small things here and there. Got him a new dog bed. We got him a harness, just a new leash, just some dog food, just like the basic stuff. We are gonna be training him in a crate area. So he's gonna be in an enclosed space. And then also was thinking about getting him his own toys, but after thinking about it, the big dogs are just gonna come and like destroy it. <laughs> so there's really no point of getting him like smaller toys because I mean, the big ones are like fine too, so. I'm gonna try to record as much as I can in there. It's like really hard, um, especially since I brought Draco, it's hard to like hold him with one hand and then record with another. So I'll do my best, but it might be a little difficult to get content in the store. I just left Pet Supply. Draco was being a good boy. Hmm, Draco. Anyways, I guess what I got, it was really hard to record in there since I only had like one hand. He got, <laughs> we got two giant bully sticks for the beasts. He like, he loves bully sticks. Um, we got a small pack of bully sticks for Wolf and the new pup. Uh, we also got, so this is the food that we're gonna be starting him on. I'm just going to try it out, but as you guys may know, French Bulldogs are prone to a lot of allergies. They also have a lot of skin stuff going on. They have a lot of dermatitis. They get allergies here, allergies there. They have like 101 problems, but don't worry. Your girl, your girl came prepared and did her research. Also, I worked at the animal hospital. Anyways, so we're going with a puppy formula from Stella and Chewy's. It is a raw diet. It is the beef and salmon recipe. This is the puppy food we were going to be starting him on. Uh, and yeah, hopefully he likes it. And then we also... Oh, I'm trying to record with one hand. Um, Draco and Katana are fucking spoiled. And they also get raw, like, raw food in their kibble as well. So I also got them this new Northwest Naturals. Northwest Naturals raw diet for dogs. It is the beef recipe. So I'm gonna mix it in with their kibble to see how they like that as well. I'm trying to stop feeding them the Stella and Chewy's frozen patties just because it's getting really expensive because now we have two of them. So I'm trying to see um, other alternatives as well. So we're gonna try out this brand and see how they like it. Hold me close and hold me fast. Loving. We are finally going to pick up our new babies. We're very excited. Babe. Excited. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Then I'll move over here with Kitty. You got a pit name for him yet? We do. We're naming him Saint. <laughs> <laughs> I fall in love with him all the time. Oh, oh he's my cute. goodness. <laughs> His tush he's might be so a little cute. wet. Oh, I, I rinsed oh, it. Yeah, well, it's water because we're put on the play and I rinsed him off. Ah, thank you. Oh, so tiny. He's so cute. He's like, let me hold him. He's so cute. You want to hold him? Yeah, I want to hold him. Okay. Uh -huh. He's mostly uh, he a Oh, he's kisser. so warm. He is a kisser. He's a kisser. <laughs> Bam. So all right. That's the. Oh, yes. Perfect. It's the cutie. Oh my goodness. And he's really, oh, really docile. What a cutie pie. Oh my god. Very goodness. docile. He's so pretty. He's, Hi, oh, bud. I'm in love with him. He's adorable. Babe, oh. how do you feel? He's so cute. I love him. He's my favorite cat already, I can tell. <laughs> and then Saint is in his little 
uh, carrier right now. But we're gonna head home and surprise the roommates and see how they do. Yes. <laughs> oh my yes. goodness. Hey guys, just picked up our boy, Saint. Look at him, look at him. He's a kisser, aren't you? He came back from a long trip, look at him. He's very, very playful and he loves to kiss. I don't know why, look at him. Look at me. Okay, and now he's clicking the camera. <laughs> oh my goodness. I finally get a dog of my own because Selena gets I control all the animals for some reason. Kitty's in the back. Uh, we haven't picked a name for him yet, but um, we're just letting him kind of rest in the back. He had a long trip, and uh, cats don't really do well under stress when they travel. So we're just giving him his little space. Um, tune in once we pick out his name. Wait, I gotta look at the camera. Kylie it is. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, so we finally got home. Kitty in hand. We are gonna go first. Obviously, the roommates know that we got a new kitty, so we're gonna go show them the kitty, and then we're gonna leave Saint in the car with AC. Don't worry. And then we're gonna come and uh, switch him out. So let's let's go do it. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Mr. Crouton. I'll get a stuffing. Okay. Hi. 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 Wow. Oh my goodness. He's like super chill, really calm. The. You knocked out. That was a real freak. <laughs> oh my god. Hi. Hi. Oh. 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 Hello. It's. Yeah, you guys never did. Ew. I thought you said you. I don't see the hype of virgins. You're like a little pig for real. Yeah, he looks like a pig. <laughs> yeah, they're sailing, but they're playing. Alright guys, here's the rest of the vlog, or the end of the vlog. Here's our kitties, and there's puppy. We're gonna get them acclimated to their friends. new environment, and they're like best friends. Oh, <laughs> He's like, fuck you. So kitty's gonna stay downstairs in isolation, away from the other male cats. Um, I'm gonna put him down, because he's gonna get stressed out. And puppy is gonna be in a little crate near our, um, in our bathroom upstairs. So we're gonna get them acclimated, we're gonna feed them dinner and everything, and yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. If you guys want great, great <laughs> content, Follow me at. <laughs> Stupid. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and follow if you want to see does. more of. <laughs> if you guys want to see more of them. All right. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh. Hey, stop. <laughs> All right. Bye.